Ano mo pinanto na na? Ano mo pinanto na na? Ano mo pinanto na na? Hey, how are you? Yeah, we take them there. Huh? Another 20 feet. That we're ready for now. Oh, man. 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 Okay, 大家一起喊口号啊！朱家父子，骑士华人，勾结恶警，英受抵制，朱家父子，骑士华人，勾结恶警，英受抵制。朱家父子
是华人。勾结二军，勾结二军，因数抵制，因数抵制。
they, they tell us that our protests are noise. We tell them it's not noise. This is how we are protecting the community. Thank you everyone for your support. Up next we have Aaron from Youth Against Displacement. Even if it means selling 
happening out in Chinatown. And the real criminals are the NYPD in this very building who carry out the bidding of these developers and institutions. This, this is why we pick it. This is why we march. And this is why we fight. Thank you, everyone. Stop coming alive
keep fighting and bringing the community together. And we will win at the end. Yeah. Yeah. My personal feeling about Mr. Uh, Vinny Chen, he's a detective. Take care of your business. Leave the development to somebody else that is fighting in our community. He should not be involved. Mayor Adams said that he wants good um, community between the police department and the community. This is not helping us. This is destroying us. He's going against our, our own politics. He should not be involved with uh, Jonathan Shu having dinner, being his friend, and then harassing us out here. And the Adams, and the Adams should come and investigate this precinct and find out why he's being involved in our protest. Thank you.
as you know, this um, Museum of Chinese in America took the $35 million from the city government to support the new jail. And also, you know, it is because of the mayor de Blasio that we have been fighting against for so long, who have been destroying our neighborhood, and now he's trying to run for Congress. <laughs> so we really set a bad example of what this, the city government should not do. So here's our letter to Mayor Eric Adams. So dear Mayor Adams, this is the coalition to protect Chinatown and the Lower East Side. We have been fighting to stop the racism and displacement that the previous administration escalated in our community. Former Mayor de Blasio, in order to fill a new mega jail in Chinatown, gave the Museum of Chinese in America $35 million in exchange for its support. Jonathan Chu, the biggest landlord in Chinatown who displaced Jim Fong restaurant during this pandemic. Sure. By enacting the Soho Noho rezoning, the Blasio's rezoning plan that upzoned Chu's properties, raising their values. Right now, oh. Mocha and Chu work with NYPD to harass peaceful protesters, including seniors, immigrant workers, and other community members who have been calling out the museum and the landlord's role in supporting oh. former Mayor de Blasio's racism and displacement in Chinatown. As soon as people start drumming to protest the museum, the police showed up, issued summons, and threatened them with criminal charges. This is an outright violation of people's First Amendment rights. We ask that you stop NYPD's criminalization of peaceful protesters and reverse the former mayor's racist policies that displace the community. We have sent you a petition with more than 10,000 signatures. We that you want to intervene to start to reopen the Jinfeng Dining Hall, to stop the new jail, and use the resources to help fund the recovery of small businesses and workers. Three, lower the real estate tax for small businesses. And four, rescind the pro developers Soho Noho Resumming Plan and pass the community led Chinatown Working Group Resumming Plan to stop displacement and luxury high rises. To the community and meet with us to talk about protecting our lower Manhattan communities from displacement. We look forward to hearing from you. Sincerely, Coalition to Protect Chinatown and the Lower East Side.
and ultimately to the work of abolition. All of this random street violence is not random. It is created by the same institutions that claim to protect us. Yeah, that's right. Developers like Jonathan Chu displace working people and destroy livelihoods. Yeah. Institutions like MOCA seem concerned with anti-Asian racism. Meanwhile, they themselves are perpetuating systemic violence against working class Asians. Yeah. 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 Displacement brings on unsafe conditions that create the very climate for these violent attacks, which then leads to calls and the expansion for police power. The cycle of violence will continue to spiral unless we address it at its root. This is why it's so important for us to stand up to the developers, stand up to the bosses, and stand up to the landlords. They are so blinded by the profit motive that they no longer see us as human. We are nothing more than their investment vehicle.
呃呃，市长亚当斯基的封信。第二个呢，就是呃呃呃，亚裔呃反对这个监狱啊，呃、代表呃来讲说，其实这个呃呃呃，这个地啊、呃、业主啊和这个地产商啊，是真正的呃使我们破坏我们社区的。啊、呃，他呢，使我们呃，把我们呃呃工人啊、工友啊、住客啊，都关在监狱里面，用呃呃产生这样的呃条件，把我们就是关押，然后他们才是真正的呃罪犯。第三位呢，是保护这个呃呃 East River Park 东呃东河公园的代表说，其实。他们呢，在一直在保护东河公园，这个公园呢被这个市长和呃地产商呢呃搞得一塌糊涂，现在啊树都没有了，在要在那边建，好像要在那边建这个高楼啊，所以也是逼迁的一种啊。他也说呢，这个警察不站在我们一边啊，他来了以后呃，我们去保护公园，保护我们的社区，警察就过来来打击我们。所以看到这个警察从来就不是站在我们社区一边的，警察是站在像这样子博物馆、高等花园、高等人群里边的。OK。Up next we have Young Hu from Red Canary Songs to speak with us.
Time for Protect Flushing, and we're a group of youth dedicated to justice for our immigrant communities in Flushing. We may be a long way from Chinatown, but we fight the same fight against racist bosses and their collusion with NYPD and ICE in Flushing. Flushing has one of the largest population of immigrant workers, often undocumented and or women of color. These workers are forced to work long hours with little to even no pay and protection, and yet are attacked and blamed for their own circumstances. Right. Street vendors have been violently pushed out of Flushing by the NYPD, not only arresting and punishing these people for their means of survival, but also humiliating them by publicly arresting and shaming innocent people trying to live. Bosses have threatened to call ICE on their own employees, exploiting undocumented workers by forcing vulnerable, unprotected immigrants to endure inhumane working conditions. All just, oh hear this, all just so the bosses can take a profit while workers scramble to keep themselves and their families afloat by repeatedly enduring exploitative working conditions. Immigrant workers of color have been forced to work brutal 24-hour work days by organizations like the Chinese American Planning Council, or CPC, who not only withhold compensation, but effectively block access to workers seeking justice through the court system. All these oppression and flushing is parallel to what Jonathan Chu is doing here in Chinatown. To have the audacity to call the people, call the police multiple times on peaceful picketers calling us thugs and lazy it's absolute stupid, ignorant bullshit! Yeah. To do all of that after affecting over 180 migrant workers from Jingfang during a pandemic and accepting a $35 million bribe to build a mega jail here in Chinatown is nothing less than targeted racism towards immigrant communities of color. Yeah. To end the cycle of violent racism towards our immigrant communities, we must demand bosses like Jonathan Chu to stop skipping over to his little buddies over there in Chinatown NYPD to try and break us down. We came all the way from Flushing to say that we will go any distance to stand together with the real criminals, well, against the real criminals, my God, against the real criminals, the greedy racist bosses and the NYPD. <laughs> Police and bosses don't protect us. We protect us. We care for us and we will stand with us. We stand in solidarity with the with the Jingfeng workers, the Mocha picket line, and all the oppressed workers who fight every day to protect themselves and their families. We will continue to fight until justice is served. Thank you. I just want to take a moment to thank you all so much for coming out. Thank you to all of the groups who have rallied from all around the city to come and stand with the Jingfeng workers, with the people of Chinatown on the Lower East Side, and with working people all across New York City who are fighting against displacement, against racist bosses, against racist landlords and racist cops. Thank you so much for being here with us today. If you haven't already, make sure that you sign in um, so that we can stay in touch as we continue to grow our fight. And of course, if you need water, we have lots and lots of water. We want to make sure that everyone here is okay. Um, and before we wrap up, I'm going to have Yolanda translate the last few speeches for us. <laughs>
最后呢，呃，我们会说，现在呢，呃，我们会进行到那个呃呃反对这个博物馆的示威线过程中，我们即将打这个桶啊，这个酱油桶啊，这个酱油桶就是我们啊、呃、一年来我们工友啊不会讲英文，我们用这个打鼓来表示我们的愤怒，结果前几个星期啊，这个。博物馆和住家就叫警察来骚扰我们，说我们都不能打鼓啊！他是他是在他说啊，我们中国人啊，我们呀、啊、移民啊，没有打鼓的权利啊，没有说话的权权利啊